Huntsville is a city located primarily in Madison County in the Appalachian region of northern Alabama. Huntsville is the county seat of Madison County. The city extends west into neighboring Limestone County and south into Morgan County. Huntsville's population was 180,105 as of the 2010 census. Huntsville is the third largest city in Alabama and the largest city in the five-county Huntsville-Decatur-Albertville, all combined statistical area, which at the 2013 census estimate had a total population of 683,871. The Huntsville metropolitan area's population was 417,593 in 2010 to become the second largest in Alabama. Huntsville Metro's population reached 441,000 by 2014. It grew across nearby hills north of the Tennessee River, adding textile mills, then munitions factories, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, and the United States Army Aviation and Missile Command nearby at the Redstone Arsenal. The National Trust for Historic Preservation named Huntsville to its America's Dozen Distinctive Destinations for 2010 list. Topic: History. Topic: First Settlers. The first settlers of the area were Muscogee-speaking people. The Chickasaw traditionally claimed to have settled around 1300 after coming east across the Mississippi. A combination of factors, including depopulation due to disease, land disputes between the Choctaw and Cherokee, and pressures from the United States government had largely depopulated the area prior to 1805. That year Revolutionary War veteran John Hunt settled in the land around the Big Spring. The 1805 Treaty with the Chickasaws and the Cherokee Treaty of Washington of 1806 ceded native claims to the United States government. The area was subsequently purchased by Leroy Pope, who named the area Twickenham after the home village of his distant kinsman Alexander Pope. Twickenham was carefully planned, with streets laid out on the northeast to southwest direction based on the flow of Big Spring. However, due to anti British sentiment during this period, the name was changed to Huntsville. To honor John Hunt, who had been forced to move to other land south of the new city, both John Hunt and Leroy Pope were Freemasons and charter members of Helion Lodge No. 1, the oldest lodge in Alabama. <laughs> Incorporation In 1811, Huntsville became the first incorporated town in Alabama. However, the recognized founding Year of the city is 1805, the year of John Hunt's arrival. The city's sesquicentennial anniversary was held in 1955, and the bicentennial was celebrated in 2005. David Wade arrived in Huntsville in 1817. He built the David Wade House on the north side of what is now Bob Wade Lane Robert B. Wade was David's grandson, just east of Mount Lebanon Road. It had six rough Doric columns on the portico. During the Great Depression, the house was measured as part of the Historic American Buildings Survey HABS to be included in the government's archive and was photographed by Francis Benjamin Johnston for the project. This project put architects, draftsmen, and photographers to work to create an inventory of documentation and photographs of significant properties across the country. The house had already been abandoned for years and was considerably deteriorated. It was torn down in 1952. Today only the antebellum smokehouse, an imposing structure itself, survives at the property. <inaudible> <inaudible> Emerging industries Huntsville's quick growth was from wealth generated by the cotton and railroad industries. Many wealthy planters moved into the area from Virginia, Georgia, and the Carolinas. In 1819, Huntsville hosted a constitutional convention in Walker Allen's large cabinet-making shop. The 44 delegates meeting there wrote a constitution for the new state of Alabama. In accordance with the new state constitution, Huntsville became Alabama's first capital when the state was admitted to the Union. This was a temporary designation for one legislative session only. The capital was moved to more central cities, to Cahaba, then to Tuscaloosa, and finally to Montgomery. In 1855, the Memphis and Charleston Railroad was constructed through Huntsville, becoming the first railway to link the Atlantic seacoast with the lower Mississippi River. 
Topic Civil War Huntsville initially opposed secession from the Union in 1861, but provided many men for the Confederacy's efforts. The 4th Alabama Infantry Regiment, led by Col. Egbert J. Jones of Huntsville, distinguished itself at the Battle of Manassas, Bull Run, the first major encounter of the American Civil War. The 4th Alabama Infantry, which contained two Huntsville companies, were the first Alabama troops to fight in the war and were present when Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Court House in April 1865. Eight generals of the war were born in or near Huntsville, evenly split with four on each side. On the morning of April 11, 1862, Union troops led by General Ormsby M. Mitchell seized Huntsville in order to sever the Confederacy's rail communications and gain access to the Memphis and Charleston Railroad. Huntsville was the control point for the western division of the Memphis and Charleston, and by controlling this railroad the Union had a direct connection to Charleston, South Carolina. During the first occupation, the Union officers occupied many of the larger homes in the city while the other men camped on the outskirts. In the initial occupation, the Union troops searched for both Confederate troops hiding in the town and weapons. After they had established themselves, the occupying Federals did not burn or pillage the city of Huntsville, though towns around it were sometimes targeted. Treatment toward the town was actually civil. The Union troops were forced to retreat some months later, but returned to Huntsville in the fall of 1863 and thereafter used the city as a base of operations for the remainder of the war. While many homes and villages in the surrounding countryside were burned in retaliation for the active guerrilla warfare in the area, Huntsville itself was spared because it housed elements of the Union Army. After the Civil War After the Civil War, Huntsville became a center for cotton textile mills, such as Lincoln, Dallas, and Merrimack. Each mill company constructed worker housing, in communities that included schools, churches, grocery stores, theaters, and hardware stores, all within walking distance of the mill. In some of these, workers were required to buy goods at the company stores, which sometimes overcharged them. The mill owners could throw out workers from housing if they violated policies about behavior. Robert Mosley, an African American man, was hanged in Huntsville on March 22, 1890, by a white lynch mob. He was among the ten black men lynched in Madison County, Alabama from 1877 to 1950. Most were killed by this form of racial terrorism in the decades around the turn of the century. A dairy cow called Lily Flag broke the world record for butter production in 1892. Her Huntsville resident owner General Samuel H. Moore painted his house butter yellow and organized a party to celebrate, arranging for electric lights for the dance floor. An area south of Huntsville was named Lily Flag before 1906. This area was later annexed by the city. <laughs> Great Depression 1930s During the 1930s, industry declined in Huntsville due to the Great Depression. Huntsville became known as the watercress capital of the world because of its abundant harvest in the area. Madison County led Alabama in cotton production during this time. <laughs> <laughs> world War II By 1940, Huntsville was still relatively small, with a population of about 13,000 inhabitants. This quickly changed in early 1941 when the U.S. Army selected 35,000 acres 140 square kilometers of land adjoining the southwest area of the city for building three chemical munitions facilities, the Huntsville Arsenal, the Redstone Ordnance Plant soon redesignated Redstone Arsenal, and the Gulf Chemical Warfare Depot. These operated throughout World War II, with combined personnel approaching 20,000. Resources in the area were strained as new workers flocked to the area, and the construction of housing could not keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Missile development At the end of the war in 1945, the munitions facilities were no longer needed. They were combined with the designation Redstone Arsenal RSA, and a considerable political and business effort was made in attempts to attract new tenants. One significant start involved manufacturing the Keller automobile, but this closed after 18 vehicles were built. 
With the encouragement of U.S. Senator John Sparkman, the U.S. Army Air Force considered this for a major testing facility, but then selected another site. Redstone Arsenal was prepared for disposal, but Sparkman used his considerable Southern Democratic influence the Solid South controlled numerous powerful chairmanships of congressional committees to persuade the Army to choose it as a site for rocket and missile development. In 1950, about 1,000 personnel were transferred from Fort Bliss, Texas, to Redstone Arsenal to form the Ordnance Guided Missile Center OGMC. Central to this was a group of about 200 German scientists and engineers, led by Werner von Braun. They had been brought to America by Colonel Holger Toftoy under Operation Paperclip following World War II. Assigned to the center at Huntsville, they settled and reared families in this area. As the Korean War started, the OGMC was given the mission to develop what eventually became the Redstone rocket. This rocket set the stage for the United States space program, as well as major Army missile programs, to be centered in Huntsville. Toftoy, then a brigadier general, commanded OGMC and the overall Redstone arsenal. In early 1956, the Army Ballistic Missile Agency ABMA under Major General John Medeiros was formed. Topic: <laughs> Space flight. The city is nicknamed the Rocket City for its close association with US space missions. On January 31, 1958, ABMA placed America's first satellite, Explorer 1, into orbit using a Jupiter C launch vehicle, a descendant of the Redstone. This brought national attention to Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, with widespread recognition of this being a major center for high technology. On July 1, 1960, 4,670 civilian employees, associated buildings and equipment, and 1,840 acres (7.4 square kilometers) of land transferred from ABMA to form NASA's George C. Marshall Space Flight Center (MSFC). Werner von Braun was MSFC's initial director. On September 8, President Dwight D. Eisenhower formally dedicated the MSFC. During the 1960s, the major mission of MSFC was in developing the Saturn boosters used by NASA in the Apollo lunar landing program. For this, MSFC greatly increased its employees, and many new companies joined the Huntsville industrial community. The Cummings Research Park was developed just north of Redstone Arsenal to partially accommodate this industrial growth, and has now become the second largest research park of this type in America. Huntsville's economy was nearly crippled and growth almost came to a standstill in the 1970s following the closure of the Apollo program. However, the emergence of the Space Shuttle, the International Space Station, and a wide variety of advanced research in space sciences led to a resurgence in NASA-related activities that has continued into the 21st century. In addition, new Army organizations have emerged at Redstone Arsenal, particularly in the ever-expanding field of missile defense. Now in the 2000s, Huntsville has the second largest technology and research park in the nation, and ranks among the top 25 most educated cities in the nation. It is considered in the top of the nation's high-tech hotspots, and one of the best southern city for defense jobs. It is the number one location for happy engineers with high average salary and low median gross rent. Topic: <inaudible> Biotechnology. <inaudible> More than 25 biotechnology firms have developed in Huntsville due to the Huntsville Biotech Initiative. The Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology is the centerpiece of the 150-acre Cummings Research Park Biotech Campus, part of the 4,000-acre Cummings Research Park, which is second only to North Carolina's Research Triangle Park in land area. The non-profit Hudson Alpha Institute has contributed genomics and genetics work to the Encyclopedia of DNA Elements in code. For profit business ventures within the biotech campus focus on subjects such as infectious disease diagnostics, immune responses to disease and cancer, protein crystallization, lab on a chip technologies, and improved agricultural technologies. The University of Alabama in Huntsville UAH, created a doctoral program in biotechnology to help develop scientists to support Hudson Alpha in addition to the emerging biotechnology economy in Huntsville. The university's strategic plan has biotechnology as one of its emerging fields for future education and research. Geography <laughs> <laughs> 
Huntsville is located at 34 degrees 42 and 86 degrees 35 W 34.7, minus 86.6. The city has a total area of 210.0 square miles, 543.9 square kilometers. Huntsville has grown through recent annexations west into Limestone County, a total of 21.5 square miles, 56 square kilometers, or 13,885 acres, 5,619 hectares, situated in the Tennessee River Valley. Huntsville is partially surrounded by several plateaus and large hills. These plateaus are associated with the Cumberland Plateau, and are locally called mountains. Monte Sano Mountain Spanish for Mountain of Health is the most notable, and is east of the city along with Round Top, Burrett, Chapman, Huntsville, and Green Mountains. Others are Wade Mountain to the north, Rainbow Mountain to the west, and Whedon and Madkin Mountains on the Redstone Arsenal property in the south. Brindley Mountain is visible in the south across the Tennessee River. As with other areas along the Cumberland Plateau, the land around Huntsville is karst in nature. The city was founded around the Big Spring, which is a typical karst spring. Many caves perforate the limestone bedrock underneath the surface, as is common in karst areas. The National Speleological Society is headquartered in Huntsville. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Boundaries. The city is primarily surrounded by unincorporated land. The following incorporated areas border parts of the city. Athens, far northwestern tip of Huntsville. Decatur, southwest. Owens Cross Roads, southeast. Triana, south. Several unincorporated communities also border Huntsville, including Harvest, northwest. Meridianville, north. Moore's Mill, northeast. Newmarket, Alabama, northeast oldest Alabama settlement. Redstone Arsenal, US Army base south. The Huntsville city limits expanded west to wrap around and in 2011 fully surrounded the neighboring city of Madison. Madison. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Huntsville has a humid subtropical climate, Köppen climate classification CFA. It experiences hot, humid summers and generally mild winters, with average high temperatures ranging from near 90 degrees Fahrenheit .2 degrees Celsius in the summer to 49 degrees Fahrenheit .4 degrees Celsius during winter. Huntsville is near the center of a large area of the U.S. Mid-South that has maximum precipitation in the winter and spring, not summer. Average yearly precipitation is more than 54 inches. On average, the wettest single month is December, but Huntsville has a prolonged wetter season from November to April, with on average 5 or more inches of precipitation each of those months. The relatively drier months are from August to October. Droughts can occur in the summer, but usually there is enough rainfall to keep things very lush and humid. Much of Huntsville's precipitation is delivered by thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are most frequent during the spring, and the most severe storms occur during the spring and late fall. These storms can deliver large hail, damaging straight-line winds, and tornadoes. Huntsville lies in a region colloquially known as Dixie Alley, an area more prone to violent, long-track tornadoes than most other parts of the U.S. On April 27, 2011, the largest tornado outbreak on record, the 2011 Super Outbreak, affected northern Alabama. During this event, an EF-5 tornado that tracked near the Browns Ferry nuclear power plant destroyed many transmission towers and caused a multi-day power outage for the majority of North Alabama. That same tornado also resulted in considerable damage to the Anderson Hills subdivision and in Harvest, Alabama. In total, nine people were killed in Madison County, and many others injured. Other significant tornado events include the super outbreak in April 1974, the November 1989 tornado outbreak that killed 21 and injured almost 500, and the Anderson Hills tornado that killed one and caused extensive damage in 1995. On January 21, 2010, Huntsville experienced a rare mid-winter tornado. It registered EF2 on the enhanced Fujita scale and resulted in moderate damage. Because it was not rain wrapped and was easily photographed, it received extensive media coverage. Since Huntsville is nearly 300 miles (480 kilometers) inland, hurricanes rarely arrive with their full force. However, many weakened tropical storms cross the area after a U.S. Gulf Coast landfall. 
While most winters have some measurable snow, heavy snow is rare in Huntsville. However, there have been some unusually heavy snowstorms, like the New Year's Eve 1963 snowstorm, when 17 in 43 centimeters fell within 24 hours. Likewise, the blizzard of 1993 and the Groundhog Day snowstorm in February 1996 were substantial winter events for Huntsville. On Christmas Day 2010, Huntsville recorded over 4 inches 10 centimeters of snow, and on January 9-10, 2011 it received from 8.9 inches 23 centimeters at the airport and up to 10 inches 25 centimeters in the suburbs. Demographics As of the census of 2000, there were 158,216 people, 66,742 households, and 41,713 families residing in the city. The population density was 909.0 people per square mile there were 73,670 housing units at an average density of 423.3 per square miles, 163.4 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 64.47% white, 30.21% black or African American, 0.54% Native American, 2.22% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 0.66% from other races, and 1.84% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.04% of the population. Non-Hispanic whites were 58% of the population in 2010, compared to 86.9% in 1970. There were 66,742 households out of which 27.6% had children living with them, 45.5% were married couples living together, 13.7% had a female householder with no husband present, and 37.5% were non-families, 32.3% of all households were made up of individuals and 9. 2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.29 and the average family size was 2.91. Same-sex couple households comprised 0.5% of all households. Topic: 2010 census. As of the census of 2010, there were 180,105 people, 77,033 households, and 45,416 families residing in the city. The population density was 857.6 people per square mile per square kilometers. There were 84,949 housing units at an average density of 405.3 per square miles, 156.9 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 60.3% white, 31.2% black or African American, 0.6% Native American, 2.4% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 2.9% from other races, and 2.5% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 5.8% of the population. There were 77,033 households out of which 24.9% had children living with them, 40.1% were married couples living together, 14.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 41.0% were non-families, 34.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 10.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.25 and the average family size was 2.91. Topic: 2011. Demographic distribution. Topic: Sex ratio and income distribution. Politics and government The current mayor of Huntsville is Tommy Battle, who was first elected in 2008 and then re-elected in 2012 and 2016. The city administrator is John Hamilton, who replaced Rex Reynolds on January 1, 2014 when Reynolds retired. 
The city has a five-member, district city council. The current members are District 1 Northwest, Devon S. Keith, Council President District 2 East, Francis Acreage District 3 Southeast, Dr. Jenny Robinson District 4 Southwest, Bill Kling Jr., 3rd Presiding Officer District 5 West, Will Culver, President Pro Temper Council elections are staggered, meaning that Districts 2, 3, and 4 had elections in August 2018, while Districts 1 and 5 had elections simultaneously with mayoral elections in 2020. The city has boards and commissions which control everything from schools and planning to museums and downtown development. In July 2007, then-Senator Barack Obama held the first fundraiser in Alabama for his presidential campaign in Huntsville. Obama ended up winning the Alabama Democratic primary in Madison County by large margins in 2008. However, in the general election, John McCain carried Madison County with 57% of the vote. See also, List of Mayors of Huntsville, Alabama. Public safety and health In 2007, Mayor Loretta Spencer combined the police, fire, and animal services departments to create the Department of Public Safety. The former chief of police was appointed as its director. The new department has nearly 900 employees and an annual budget of $63 million. Topic fire The Huntsville Fire and Rescue provides fire protection for the city. On a daily basis the department staffs and coordinates 19 engine companies, 5 ladder trucks, 4 rescue trucks, along with a special operations division that includes hazardous materials units, technical rescue units, and several specialized support units. Huntsville Fire and Rescue also has fire investigations, emergency response dispatch, logistics, and training divisions, all of which are diverse, innovative and efficient. Many Huntsville firefighters are members of the regional hazardous materials and heavy rescue response teams. The day-to-day -day operations of the department are currently carried out by the department's fire chief. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer organizations. Huntsville has two volunteer public safety organizations in their city. The Huntsville Madison County Rescue Squad is the county-wide volunteer rescue organization with tasks ranging from vehicle extrication to water rescues. The other is the Huntsville Cave Rescue Unit which is the region's only all-volunteer cave rescue organization. It is tasked with cave, cliff and high-angle rope rescues. These organizations are located in Huntsville but operate both in the city and outside with HCRU responding to many cave rescue calls coming from caves well outside the city limits. EMS Huntsville Emergency Medical Services Inc. HEMSI provides emergency services to Huntsville and surrounding Madison County. HEMSI operates 17 ALS ambulance crews, 2 BLS ambulance crews, and 1 wheelchair transport from 12 stations located in Huntsville and Madison County. HEMSI also operates 1 ALS ambulance crew at the Marshall Space Flight Center located on Redstone Arsenal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Police The Huntsville Police Department has three precincts and one downtown HQ, 400 sworn officers, 150 civilian personnel, and patrols an area of 194.7 plus square miles this number has grown due to recent annexations. <laughs> Police Academy The Huntsville Police Academy has been in operation since 1965. In 2014, the Academy had graduated 53 basic classes and 7 lateral classes. Hospitals Huntsville Hospital System Crestwood Medical Center Economy Huntsville's main economic influence is derived from aerospace and military technology. 
Redstone Arsenal, Cummings Research Park (CRP), and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center comprise the main hubs for the area's technology-driven economy. CRP is the second largest research park in the United States and the fourth largest in the world. University of Alabama in Huntsville is a center for technology and engineering research in the area. There are commercial technology companies such as the network access company Adtran, computer graphics company Intergraph and designer and manufacturer of IT infrastructure Avicent. Synram manufactures and distributes 20th Century Fox DVDs and Blu-ray discs out of their Huntsville plant. Sanmina Sai has a presence in the area. 57 Fortune 500 companies have operations in Huntsville. In 2005, Forbes magazine named the Huntsville Decatur Combined Statistical Area as sixth best in the nation for doing business, and number one in terms of the number of engineers per total employment. In 2006, Huntsville dropped to 14th. The prevalence of engineers was not considered in the 2006 ranking. Topic: Retail. There are several strip malls and shopping malls throughout the city. Huntsville has one enclosed mall, Parkway Place, built in 2002 on the site of the former Parkway City Mall. A larger mall built in 1984 Madison Square Mall, was closed in 2017 and the site is to be redeveloped into a lifestyle center. There is also a lifestyle center named Bridge Street Town Center, completed in 2007, in Cummings Research Park. Topic. Space and defense Huntsville remains the center for rocket propulsion research in NASA and the Army. The Marshall Space Flight Center has been designated to develop NASA's Future Space Launch System SLS, and the U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Command AMCOM is responsible for developing a variety of rocket-based tactical weapons. Topic. Infrastructure Topic. Transportation Huntsville is served by several U.S. highways, including 72, 231, 431 and an interstate highway spur, I-565, that links the two cities of Huntsville and Decatur to I-65. Alabama Highway 53 also connects the city with I-65 in Ardmore, Tennessee. Major roadways include University Drive, Governor's Drive, Airport Road, Memorial Parkway and Research Park Boulevard. Cited as, Restore Our Roads, the city of Huntsville, between 2014 and 2019, will perform about $383 million worth of road construction to improve the transportation infrastructure. Some of the funds for the road work comes from an increase in sales tax, while others come from various sources including the Alabama Transportation Rehabilitation and Improvement Program. Major road projects include Memorial Parkway overpasses at Martin Road, Lily Flag, and Maston Lake Road Widening US-72 over Chapman Mountain Widening US-72 from Providence Main Street to County Line Road from four lanes to six lanes Access and intersection improvements along Memorial Parkway Extending the northern bypass from Pulaski Pike to US 231, 431 Widening Cecil Ashburn Drive over Huntsville Mountain from two to four Lanise Additional road projects include reconstructing Holmes Avenue over Pinhook Creek, widening Zeard, Martin and Winchester Roads, widening Old Madison Pike from Cummings Research Park to the city of Madison, relocating and widening Church Street north of downtown, relocating Wind Drive to allow an extension of the Calhoun Community College campus, various improvements along US 431 north of Hampton Cove, creating a new downtown gateway with the extension of Harvard Road from Governor's Drive to Williams Avenue to create a direct connection to downtown, and extending Weatherly Road to the new Grissom High School. In 2015, Alabama and Huntsville were not considered bicycle-friendly. There are bike paths for exercise available. Huntsville government is working to improve bicycle network within the city limits. <laughs> Public transit. Public transit in Huntsville is run by the city's Department of Parking and Public Transit. 
The Huntsville Shuttle runs 11 fixed routes throughout the city, mainly around downtown and major shopping areas like Memorial Parkway and University Drive and has recently expanded some of the buses to include bike racks on the front for a trial program. A trolley makes stops at tourist attractions and shopping centers. The city runs Handaride, a demand-response transit system for the handicapped, and Rideshare, a county-wide carpooling program. Topic railroads Huntsville has two active commercial rail lines. The main line is run by Norfolk Southern, which runs from Memphis to Chattanooga, Tennessee. The original depot for this rail line, the Huntsville Depot, still exists as a railroad museum, though it no longer offers passenger service. Another rail line, formerly part of the Louisville and Nashville Railroad L &N, successor to the Nashville, Chattanooga and St. Louis Railway NC and STL, is being operated by the Huntsville and Madison County Railroad Authority HMCRA. The line connects to the Norfolk Southern Line downtown and runs 13 miles 21 kilometers south, passing near Ditto Landing on the Tennessee River, and terminating at Norton Switch, near Hobbs Island. This service, in continuous operation since 1894, presently hauls freight and provides transloading facilities at its downtown depot location. Until the mid-1950s, the L&N provided freight and passenger service to Guntersville and points south. The rail cars were loaded onto barges at Hobbs Island. The barge tows were taken upstream through the Guntersville Dam and locks and discharged at Port Guntersville. Remnants of the track supporting piers still remain in the river just upstream from Hobbs Island. The service ran twice daily. L&N abandoned the line in 1984, at which time it was acquired by the newly created HMCRA, a state agency. A third line, the Mercury and Chase Railroad, runs 10 mile 16 kilometers weekend tourist rides on part of another former NC and STL and L&N line from the North Alabama Railroad Museum's Chase Depot, located in the community of Chase, Alabama. Their collection includes one of the oldest diesel locomotives in existence 1926. The rail line originally connected Huntsville to NC and STL's Nashville to Chattanooga Mainline in Detchard, Tennessee. The depot was once the smallest Union station in the United States when it served the NC and STL and Memphis and Charleston Railroad, the predecessor to the Norfolk Southern. Air service The Huntsville International Airport is served by several regional and national carriers, including Delta Air Lines, United Airlines, and American Airlines. Delivery companies have hubs in Huntsville, making flights to Europe, Asia, and Mexico. The airport has the highest average fares in U.S. as of June 2014. Topic: <laughs> Ports. The inland port of Huntsville combines the Huntsville International Airport, International Intermodal Center, and Jetplex Industrial Park for truck, train, and air transport. The intermodal terminal transfers truck and train cargo to aircraft. The port has on-site U.S. Customs and USDA inspectors. The port is foreign trade zone number 83. Topic: <inaudible> Bicycle routes. There are several bicycle routes in the city, but access to these routes can be limited. Topic utilities Electricity, water, and natural gas are all provided in Huntsville by Huntsville Utilities WHO. WHO purchases and resells power from the Tennessee Valley Authority. TVA has two plants that provide electricity to the Huntsville area Browns Ferry Nuclear Power Plant in Limestone County and Guntersville Dam in Marshall County. A third, Belfont Nuclear Power Plant in Jackson County, was built in the 1980s but was never activated. TVA plans to eventually activate the plant. Telephone service in Huntsville is provided by AT&T, Earthlink, WOW, and Comcast. Comcast and WOW are the two cable providers in the Huntsville city limits. Mediacom operates in rural outlying areas. AT&T announced the start of its DSLU verse service in the Huntsville Decatur metro area in November 2010. Topic Media and communications Newspapers 
The Huntsville Times has been Huntsville's only daily newspaper since 1996, when the Huntsville News closed. Before then, the News was the morning paper, and the Times was the afternoon paper until 2004. The Times has a weekday circulation of 60,000, which rises to 80,000 on Sundays. Both papers were owned by the Newhouse chain. In May 2012, Advance Publications, owner of The Times, announced that The Times would become part of a new company called the Alabama Media Group, along with the other three newspapers and two websites owned by Advance. As part of the change, the newspapers moved to a three day publication schedule, with print editions available only on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. The Huntsville Times and its sister papers publish news and information seven days a week on AL.com. A few alternative newspapers are available in Huntsville. The Valley Planet covers arts and entertainment in the Tennessee Valley area. The Redstone Rocket is a newspaper distributed throughout Redstone Arsenal's housing area covering activities on Redstone. Speakin' Out News is a weekly newspaper focused on African Americans. El Reportero is a Spanish language newspaper for North Alabama. Topic. Magazines Huntsville Life Magazine is a lifestyle magazine, which is published six times annually. Noala Huntsville is a lifestyle magazine, which is published six times annually. Topic. Radio Huntsville is the 106th largest radio market in the United States. Station KIH-20 broadcasts the National Weather Service's forecasts and warnings for the Huntsville area. Topic: <inaudible> Television. <inaudible> the Huntsville DMA serves 15 counties in North Alabama and 6 counties in southern Middle Tennessee. TV stations WTZT 11.1 Independent Athens WHDF 15.1 CW Network Florence WHNT 19.1 CBS 19.2 WHNT 2 HD 19.3 Antenna TV WHIQ 25.1 PBS, Alabama Public Television 25.2 Apt Kids 25.3 Apt Create 25.5 Apt World 25.5 Huntsville ETV WAAY 31.1 ABC 31.2 Ion Television 31.3 QVC W17 DJD 38.3 ABN 38.13 ABN 38.23 ABN Proclaim 38.33 ABN Dare to Dream 38.43 ABN Latino 38.53 ABN Radio 38.63 ABN Radio Latino 38.7 Radio 74 WAF 48.1 NBC 48.2 Bounce TV 48.3 Grit WZDX 54.1 Fox 54.2 WAMY My Network TV 54.3 Me TV 54.4 Four Escape Topic Film A few feature films have been shot in Huntsville, including 20 Years After 2008, originally released as Like Moles, Like Rats, Air Band 2005, and Constellation 2005. Portions of the film Space Camp 1986 were filmed at Huntsville's U.S. Space and Rocket Center at the eponymous facility. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center stood in for NASA in the 1989 movie Beyond the Stars starring Martin Sheen, Christian Slater, and Sharon Stone. Following in the motif of the Rocket City, Columbia Pictures filmed Ravagers 1979 in the Land Trust's historic Three Caves Quarry, at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and on location at an antebellum home located next door to Lee High School. This cult classic starred Richard Harris, Ernest Borgnine, Ann Turkle, Art Carney and Cecily Havanas. Huntsville's legacy in the space program continues to draw film producers looking for background material for space-themed films. 
During the pre-production of the film Apollo 13 1995, the cast and crew spent time at Space Camp and Marshall Space Flight Center preparing for their roles. Space Camp was mentioned in the film Stranger Than Fiction and was featured in a 2008 episode of Penn & Teller, B.S., on NASA. There are seven movie theaters located in Huntsville. Rave Valley Bend 18 Regal Hollywood Stadium 18 Monaco Pictures 14 Touchstar Cinemas Luxury Madison Square 12 Spacedome IMAX Theater Carmike 10 Topic: Education. Topic: K-12 Education. The majority of K-12 students in Huntsville attend Huntsville City Schools. In the 2007-2008 school year, 22,839 students attended Huntsville City Schools. 77% of all students scored at or above state and national ACT averages, and of the 1,279 members of the graduating class, approximately 92% of the students indicated that they planned to enter a post-secondary institution for further study. 43% obtained scholarship and monetary awards, and received 2,980 eight scholarships totaling $33,619,040, had 41 National Merit Scholars, three National Achievement Scholars, and two perfect ACT scores. Of the 53 schools in the Huntsville City Schools system in 2007-2008, there were, 25 elementary, and 2 K-8, which serve 10,836 students. For grades 6-12, there are 11,696 students enrolled in the following schools, 11 middle schools, grades 6 to 8 7 high schools 3 special centers 2 schools of choice and 1 program of choice 1b 4 magnet schools 2 with grades K8 and 2 with grades 9 to 12 the 2 magnet elementary schools are the academy for academics and arts and the academy for science and foreign language the three magnet middle schools are Williams Technology, the Academy for Academics and Arts, and the Academy for Science and Foreign Language, and the two magnet high schools are Lee High School and New Century Technology High School. Approximately 21 private, parochial, and religious schools serve students in grades pre-K-12. There are several accredited private Christian schools in the city. Among them are St. John Paul II Catholic High School, Faith Christian Academy, Oakwood Adventist Academy, Whitesburg Christian Academy, Grace Lutheran School, and Westminster Christian Academy. Randolph School is the only independent, private K 12 school in the city. In 2007, 60% of HCS teachers had at least a master's degree or better. <laughs> Budgeting The following was the disposition of annual funding in 2007, instructional services 54%, instruction support services 15%, operation and maintenance 11%, capital outlay 8%, auxiliary services 7%, general administrative services 3%, and debt and other expenditures 2%. Topic higher education Huntsville's higher education institutions are, Alabama A&M University J.F. Drake State Community and Technical College Oakwood University University of Alabama in Huntsville The University of Alabama in Huntsville is the largest university serving the greater Huntsville area with more than 7,700 students. Approximately half of the university's graduates earn a degree in engineering or science, making it one of the larger producers of engineers and physical scientists in Alabama. UA Huntsville has been ranked by the Carnegie Foundation as a very high research institution, placing it among the top 75 public research universities in the nation. UA Huntsville is also ranked as a Tier 1 national university by U.S. News & World Report. Alabama A&M University is the oldest university in the Huntsville area extending back to 1875. Oakwood University, founded in 1896, is a Seventh-day Adventist university with over 1,800 students and a member institution of the United Negro College Fund. It is one of the nation's leading producers of black applicants to medical schools. Various colleges and universities have satellite locations or extensions in Huntsville. Athens State University Calhoun Community College Calhoun Community College at Cummings Research Park Calhoun Community College at Redstone Arsenal Columbia College 
Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Faulkner University Florida Institute of Technology Georgia Institute of Technology Huntsville Regional Medical Campus of the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Medicine Ross Medical Education Center Virginia College Huntsville Hospital and Crestwood Medical Center has an accredited School of Radiologic Technology. Culture Topic historic districts Twickenham Historic District was chosen as the name of the first of three of the city's historic districts. It features homes in the Federal and Greek Revival architectural styles introduced to the city by Virginia-born architect George Steele about 1818, and contains the most dense concentration of antebellum homes in Alabama. The 1819 Whedon House Museum, home of female artist and poet Howard Whedon, is open to the public, as are several others in the district. Old Town Historic District contains a variety of styles Federal, Greek Revival, Queen Anne, and even California cottages, with homes dating from the late 1820s through the early 1900s. Five Points Historic District, consists predominantly of bungalows built around the beginning of the 20th century, by which time Huntsville was becoming a mill town. Low Mill Village and Lincoln Mill Village were born during the textile boom of the 1890s and were recognized for their historical importance in 2011 along with Dallas Mill Village. Topic museums U.S. Space and Rocket Center is home to the U.S. Space Camp and Aviation Challenge programs as well as the only Saturn V rocket designated a National Historic Landmark. Alabama Constitution Village features eight reconstructed federal-style buildings, with living museum displays downtown. Burrett on the Mountain, located on Monte Sano Mountain, is a regional history museum and regional event venue featuring a 1950s mansion, interpretive historic park, nature trails, scenic overlooks and more. Clay House Museum is an antebellum home built c. 1853 which showcases decorative styles up to 1950 and has an outstanding collection of Noritake porcelain. Early Works Museum is a child-friendly interactive museum in downtown Huntsville. Harrison Brothers Hardware Store, established in 1879, is the oldest operating hardware store in Alabama. Though now owned and operated by the historic Huntsville Foundation, it is still a working store, and part museum featuring skilled craftsmen who volunteer to run the store and answer questions. The historic Huntsville Depot, completed in 1860, is the oldest surviving railroad depot in Alabama and one of the oldest surviving depots in the United States. Huntsville Museum of Art in Big Spring International Park offers permanent displays, traveling exhibitions, and educational programs for children and adults. North Alabama Railroad Museum is a railroad museum with over 30 pieces of rolling stock. The Veterans Memorial Museum displays more than 30 historical military vehicles from World War I to the present, including the world's oldest jeep. Also on display are many artifacts, memorabilia, and small arms dating back to the Revolutionary War. Topic parks There are 57 parks within the city limits of Huntsville. In 2013, for the fifth time in seven years, Huntsville was named a Playful City USA by Kaboom, non-profit organization for their efforts to provide a variety of play opportunities for children that included after-school programs and parks within walking distance of home. Big Spring International Park is a park in downtown Huntsville centered on a natural water body Big Spring. The park contains the Huntsville Museum of Art. Festivals are held there, such as the Panoply Arts Festival and the Big Spring Jam. There are fish in the spring's niche. There is a waterfall and a constantly lit gas torch. Creekwood Park is a 71 acres 29 hectares park with a full-scale children's playground and dog park that connects to the Indian Creek Greenway. Huntsville Botanical Garden features educational programs, woodland paths, broad grassy meadows and stunning floral collections. Burrett on the Mountain features an eccentric, mid-century mansion and museum, an interpretive historic park depicting rural life in the 19th century, educational programs for children and adults, accessible nature trails, panoramic views of the city below and functions as a venue for popular regional events throughout the year. John Hunt Park is the city's largest park with over 400 acres 160 hectares of open space, tennis courts, soccer fields and walking trails. Jones Farm Park is a park set in Jones Valley. 
The park encompasses 33 acres, and offers two ponds, a paved trail, and a pavilion. Land Trust of North Alabama is a member-supported, non-profit organization dedicated to the conservation of the natural heritage of the area, and has preserved more than 5,500 acres 22 square kilometers of open space, wildflower areas, wetlands, working farms, and scenic vistas in North Alabama, including 1,107 acres 448 hectares of the Monte Sano Nature Preserve Monte Sano Mountain, 1,471 acres 595 hectares of the Blevins Gap and Green Mountain Nature Preserves Huntsville and Green Mountains, and 935 acres 378 hectares of the Wade Mountain Nature Preserve. Volunteers have created and maintained 62 miles 100 kilometers of public trails, all of which are within the Huntsville city limits. Lydia Gold Skate Park, located behind the historic Huntsville Depot, is open to the public. In 2003, it was dedicated to the late Lydia Lee Gold 1953-1993, an area skateboarding activist in the 1980s and the former owner of Tattooed Lady Comics and Skateboards. Helmets are the only pad requirement. No bikes, scooters, or other wheeled vehicles are allowed, only skateboards and rollerblades are permitted. Monte Sano State Park has over 2,000 acres (8.1 square kilometers) and features hiking and bicycling trails, rustic cabins built by the Civilian Conservation Corps, campsites, full RV hookups, and a recently reconstructed lodge. Topic: <laughs> Festivals. February, March, annual Maslenitsa Spring Festival is held in late winter February or March in Madison County. A goodbye to winter and welcome to spring, it is associated with ancient pagan traditions, the Orthodox Church, and the 15 East European, Baltic, Central Asian, Russian, and Southern Caucasus nations represented. This annual, family-friendly event includes a menu with crepe-like blini as its centerpiece. The festival is also called Pancake Week. It is brought together by a partnership between Madison County, sponsoring 501 C 3 organizations, and Kazakh, Moldovan, Ukrainian, Russian, Georgian, and other community representatives. Traditional dance, authentic regional folk songs and instrumentals, fashions, children's activities, and wonderful foods are part and parcel of the celebration. April, Panoply Arts Festival is an annual arts festival that began on May 14, 1982. It is presented by the Arts Council and is held on the last full weekend of each April in Big Spring International Park and the Von Braun Center. The festival includes performance stages featuring presentations, demonstrations, performances, competitions, and workshops to promote the arts. There are children's activities, a global village, strolling performers, and nightly fireworks displays. The Southeast Tourism Society consistently ranks the festival among their top 20 events. And Governor Bob Riley has announced it as one of Alabama's top 10 tourism events. May – Rocket City Brewfest is an annual craft beer festival that began in 2009 by the local Free the Hops organization. Brewfest has been held at the historical Huntsville Depot Roundhouse each May on the second Friday evening and Saturday afternoon usually before Mother's Day. June – The annual Cigar Box Guitar Festival is held the first week of June at Low Mill Arts and Entertainment. It is the world's longest-running cigar box guitar festival and features live music using homemade instruments in the tradition, makers from across the region, and includes workshops and demonstrations. September, Big Spring Jam 1993 was an annual three-day music festival held on the last full weekend of September in and around Big Spring International Park in downtown Huntsville. It featured a diversity of music including rock, country, Christian, kid-friendly, and oldies. September, the annual International Festival of North Alabama IFIST is held each fall on the Ua Huntsville campus. This free family event offers displays from many nations, presentations, travel, historic literature, hosts in native apparel, children's activities, and other audiovisuals emblematic of the wide diversity of participating countries. In addition, there are live performances and demos by local and touring artists, as well as international food vendors, an open air market, and a colorful Parade of Nations. October, Constellation is an annual general interest science fiction convention. 
Constellation, also written as Con Stellation, has been generally held over a Friday to Sunday weekend in October each year, as of 2012. Topic: <laughs> Public golf courses. Hampton Cove is one of the 11 courses making up the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, named after Hampton Cove. It features two championship 18-hole courses and one par-3 course. Sunset Landing Golf Club located next to the airport. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Private golf courses. Established in 1925, the historic Huntsville Country Club boasts a challenging 18-hole course with dining and banquet facilities located just northwest of downtown at 2601 Oakwood Avenue. The Ledges is Huntsville's newest golf community with 18 holes, dining and banquet facilities overlooking Jones Valley. Valley Hill Country Club features 27 holes in South Huntsville's Jones Valley. The links on Redstone Arsenal is available for military, NASA, and others that have base access. The links has four separate nine-hole courses, a driving range, a putting and chipping green, and even play foot golf, a soccer version of golf. <laughs> <laughs> Libraries The Huntsville-Madison County Public Library, founded in late October 1818, is Alabama's oldest continually operating library system. It has 13 branches throughout the county including one bookmobile. The Huntsville branches are the Bailey Cove Branch Library, Bessie K. Russell Branch Library, Downtown Huntsville Library, Eleanor E. Murphy Branch Library, Oscar Mason Branch Library, and Showers Center Library. The downtown Huntsville Library Archives contains a wealth of historical resources, including displays of photographic collections and artifacts, has Alabama's highest materials circulation rate, and features daily public programs. The library system provides free public access Internet computers and wireless Internet access in all facilities. Arts associations. Several arts groups have passed the 50 year mark Huntsville Community Chorus Association, Huntsville Art League, Theatre Huntsville, through its parent company, Broadway Theatre League, Fantasy Playhouse Children's Theatre, Rocket City Chorus, Huntsville Symphony Orchestra, and Huntsville Photographic Society among them. <laughs> arts Council Founded in October 1962 as a non-profit, 501 organization, the Arts Council, Inc. TAC includes over 100 local arts organizations and advocates. TAC sponsors the arts through five core programs. Arts education — including the Meet the Artist — interactive distance learning program at Educational Television and Artventures Summer Arts Camp. Member services — the annual Panoply Arts Festival Concerts in the Park, a series of Summer Serenades Under the Stars, held at Big Spring International Park in partnership with the city Community Information Services, featuring Boost Your Buzz, an annual publicity workshop. TAC promotes the visual arts with two galleries, Art at TAC, using the walls near the company's Von Braun Center offices and the Javagalaria. TAC supports the Bench Project and the strategic planning effort to support Huntsville-Madison County's economic development goals through expanded arts and cultural opportunities known as Create Huntsville. Performing arts Twickenham Fest is Alabama's premier summer chamber music festival. Founded in 2010, this festival brings world-class musicians into Huntsville to perform chamber music repertory over a weeklong. This festival is free to the public due to philanthropic support from the Huntsville community. The Huntsville Community Chorus Association HCCA, is one of Alabama's oldest performing arts organizations, with its first performance dating to December 1946 per its website, the Mobile Opera Guild, the state's oldest, first performed in April of that year. HCCA produces chorale concerts and musical theater productions. In addition, the company features its madrigal singers, Glitz, 
a show choir, a chamber chorale, an annual summer melodrama fundraiser, and three children's groups, the Huntsville Community Chorus HCC Children's Chorale ages 3-5, the HCC Treble Chorale ages 6-8, and the HCC Youth Chorale ages 9-12. Broadway Theater League was founded in 1959. BTL presents a season of national touring Broadway productions each year, a family fun show, and additional season specials. Shows are presented in the Von Braun Center's Mark C. Smith Concert Hall. Recent productions include Mamma Mia, A Chorus Line, The Color Purple, and An Evening with Patti Lapone and Mandy Patankin. The Flying Monkey Arts Center is in the historic Low Mill under the auspices of Low Mill Arts and Entertainment and hosts events such as the traditional Cigar Box Guitar Festival, the Sex Workers Art Show, concerts, and many presentations of the film Co-op. Huntsville Symphony Orchestra is Alabama's oldest continuously operating professional symphony orchestra, featuring performances of classical, pops and family concerts, and music education programs in public schools. Fantasy Playhouse Children's Theater, Huntsville's oldest children's theater, was founded in 1960. An all-volunteer organization, Fantasy Playhouse performs for the children of North Alabama on stage and off. Fantasy Playhouse Theater Academy, the organization's dance, music, and art school, teaches children and adults each year. Fantasy Playhouse regularly produces three plays a year with an additional play, A Christmas Carol, produced early each December. Theater Huntsville, the result of a merger between the Twickenham Repertory Company 1979 and Huntsville Little Theater 1950 is a 501-C-3, non-profit, all-volunteer arts organization that presents six plays each season in the Von Braun Center Playhouse. It produces the annual, Shakespeare on the Mountain, in an outdoor venue, such as Burrett on the Mountain. Presentations range from the foreigner and noises off to the occasional musical Little Shop of Horrors and Nonsense. In addition, TH presents drama-related workshops stage management, stage makeup, etc., as announced. Independent Musical Productions, was founded in 1993 and presents at least one annual main production such as Ragtime, Civil War, 1776, Into the Woods, Rent, and Sweeney Todd. Standard and original musicals for children as well as outreach programs complete the season. Plays are performed at Renaissance Theatre, with two stages, the main stage upstairs and the alpha stage downstairs, each seating about 85. The theatres are housed in the former commissary building for the historic Lincoln Mill Village. In addition to well-known and mainstream titles, Renaissance produces original, controversial, and offbeat plays. It was the site for the East Coast premiere of The Maltese Falcon. Merrimack Hall Performing Arts Center is a 501-C-3 nonprofit organization that opened in 2007, after nearly $3 million in renovations to the historic building. It was once the social center of the Merrimack Mill Village in the early 1900s. The company store, gymnasium, and bowling alley were all there and provided a place for socialization and recreation to all of the village's residents. Merrimack Hall now includes a 302-seat performance hall, a 3,000-square-foot dance studio, and rehearsal and instructional spaces for musicians. Productions and performers include Menopause the Musical, Dixie's Tupperware Party, Billy Bob Thornton and the Boxmasters, Dionne Warwick, Lisa Loeb, Claire Lynch, and the Second City Comedy Troupe. A.R.'s Nova School of the Arts is a conservatory for music and performing arts. A.R.'s Nova produces musical theater, opera, and operetta for the local stage. The Huntsville Youth Orchestra was founded by Russell Gerhardt, founding conductor of the Huntsville Symphony Orchestra, in 1961. The HEO is a non-profit corporation whose purpose is to foster, promote, and provide the support necessary for students from North Alabama to experience musical education in an orchestral setting. The organization has six ensembles, the Huntsville Youth Symphony, Sinfonia, Philharmonia, Concert Orchestra, Intermezzo Orchestra, and Novice Strings. Huntsville Chamber Music Guild was organized in 1952 to promote and present chamber music programs. The group seeks to present recitals in which artists are presented in works of the classical masters. The Huntsville Ballet Company is under the non-profit Community Ballet Association, Inc. 
The Huntsville Ballet Company performs ballets each year such as The Nutcracker, Romeo and Juliet, The Firebird, and Swan Lake. Topic: <laughs> Visual Arts. The Huntsville Museum of Art opened in 1970. It purchased the largest privately owned, permanent collection of art by American women in the U.S., featuring Anna Elizabeth Klumpke, among others. The Huntsville Photographic Society started in 1956. A non-profit organization, the HPS is dedicated to furthering the art and science of photography in North Alabama. The Huntsville Art League started in 1957, adopting the name, the Huntsville Art League and Museum Association, Halma. In addition to their Visiting Artists and Limelight Artists series, which highlight both non-resident and member artists at the home office, HAL features its members' works at galleries located in the Jane Grote Roberts Auditorium of the Huntsville-Madison County Public Library, Maine, the Heritage Club, and the Halls of the Huntsville Times. Topic. Convention Center and Arena The Von Braun Center, which originally opened in 1975 as the Von Braun Civic Center, has an arena capable of seating 10,000, a 2,000-seat concert hall, a 500-seat playhouse 330 seats with proscenium staging, and 150,000 square feet 14,000 square meters of convention space. Both the arena and concert hall have undergone major renovations, as a result, they have been rechristened the Propst Arena and the Mark C. Smith Concert Hall, respectively. <laughs> Local breweries Straight to Ale opened in 2010 in North Huntsville, later relocated to South Huntsville, and then moved to Campus 805 in West Huntsville. Yellowhammer Brewing opened in 2010 in West Huntsville. It later moved to Campus 805 in West Huntsville. Below the Radar Brewpub opened in 2012 just a few blocks off the square in downtown Huntsville. Salty Nut Brewery opened in 2013 in North Huntsville. It is currently located in the former Yellowhammer Brewing location in West Huntsville. Mad Malts opened in late 2013 just north of downtown Huntsville under the name The Brew Stooges until fall 2015. Green Bus Brewing in downtown Huntsville opened in late 2015. Innerspace Brewing opened in 2018 in West Huntsville, between Salty Nut Brewery and Yellowhammer Brewing. Topic. Comedy and other entertainment Huntsville is home to a number of comedy shows, including Coppertopia Comedy Open Mic Epic Comedy Hour Maggie Myers Irish Pub TGIM Comedy Open Mic Stand Up Live Comedy Club Topic. Other The National Speleological Society is headquartered in Huntsville on Cave Street. The Von Braun Astronomical Society has two observatories and a planetarium on 10 acres 40, square meters in Montesano State Park. The Three Caves is a former rock quarry located on Kenimer Drive, which now has concerts during the summer. Sports Topic current sports franchises Alabama A&M Bulldogs NCAA DI, IAA, SWAC Athletics Alabama Huntsville Chargers University of Alabama in Huntsville NCAA D2, GSC and WCHA Athletics Dixie Derby Girls Women's Flat Track Derby Association WIFTA Huntsville Adult Soccer League, Adult Amateur Soccer League Huntsville Havoc, Southern Professional Hockey League SPHL Huntsville hosts the annual AHSAA State Soccer Championship Tournament Finals in mid-May at the Huntsville Soccer Complex Huntsville Rockets part of Gridiron Development Football League Huntsville Rugby Club, USA Rugby South DIV. 2 Huntsville Speedway, Stock Car Racing Oakwood College Ambassadors Men's College Basketball USCAA DIV. 1 Rocket City Titans 2010 Inaugural Semi-Pro Football Season. Part of the Premier South Football League. Rocket City United, National Premier Soccer League NPSL. 
Tennessee Valley Tigers, Independent Women's Football League Past sports franchises Alabama Hawks Continental Football League Huntsville Stars 1985 to 2014 Southern League Class AA Baseball for Milwaukee Brewers formerly affiliated with the Oakland A's Huntsville Lasers 1991-92 Global Basketball Association Huntsville Blast 1993-94 East Coast Hockey League Huntsville Fire 1997-98 Eastern Indoor Soccer League Huntsville Channel Cats, Huntsville Tornado, 1995-2001-2003-04, Southern Hockey League 1995-96, Central Hockey League 1996-2001, Southeast Hockey League 2003-04, Huntsville Flight, 2001-05, NBA Development League, Tennessee Valley Raptors, 2005, United Indoor Football League, Asterisk. Alabama Hammers 2010 to 2015 Professional Indoor Football League Topic Stadiums Joe Davis Stadium Goldsmith Schiffman Field Milton Frank Stadium Lewis Cruz Stadium Topic Notable people Topic Sister Cities Huntsville's sister cities include Tainan, Taiwan.